Hello everyone and welcome to Wild on the Trail. It's time once again for another 2020 Appalachian Trail through hike attempt channel update. Let's take a walk. I'm here on the Appalachian Trail around mile number 1069, headed in for a quick day hike, headed into Deer Lick Shelters. Now hunting season is in full effect here in Pennsylvania. So when I first turned the camera on, I was sporting some fall colors with my, trying to play it smart here today, having a bright orange buff one. I was looking for a bright colored shirt and this bright pink shirt is all I could come up with before I headed out here. So I think it's kind of fitting because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So what have I been up to the past couple of weeks? If you haven't checked it out already, I do have my video up that covered my attendance of the Appalachian Long Distance Hikers Association gathering that was held in Williamstown, Massachusetts. Video is up on that. Go check it out. Fantastic organization. Had a blast all weekend long. Could have swore I just saw some deer over there in the distance. Gathering was fantastic. And check out that video if you want to find out more information about Alda. They had this year's gathering up north. Next year it's going to be further south. And they change it every year to try to accommodate people who are in the region of the Appalachian Trail. I've also recently completed my online voluntary registration of my 2020 through hike through the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. And my official start date is going to be February 16th of 2020. And I am telling you, I am super stoked. I've already gone ahead and booked my shuttle for the day with a gentleman and hiker, previous through hiker, Ron Brown. Go ahead and put his information up on the screen. He has an outstanding reputation for shuttling hikers to and from the trail in the southernmost region of Georgia. So if you have yet to book a shuttle and you're hiking the AT next year, give Ron a call. And if he is busy, he has an extended list of great references that he can point you in the right direction. So I'm super excited about getting that done. It's made things extremely real. And I gotta tell you, when I booked that shuttle and I did that on online registration, it just, my heart was about pumping out of my chest. So, when we get up here to the shelter area, I'm going to share some of my most recent equipment purchases, let you know how that's going, and let's turn the camera around and show you a little bit more of the trail. I've also submitted my channel information, start date, direction of travel, to Ramdino Roman the Trails. I'll put his channel information up there as well. Ramdino, for the past couple of years, has been doing some fantastic hiker updates, keeping track of through hikers. He is still finishing up the 2019 season. And make sure you head over to his channel to check out some coverage that he's already provided for 2020 hikers, including myself. So thank you so much, Ram Dino, for all of your hard, hard work doing that. It's, he has spent an incredible amount of time putting that information out. And I know that everyone in the hiking community looks forward to getting that information. And that's going to be my number one go-to source when I'm on the trail next year to find out how everyone's doing around me. And if I'm going to have the opportunity to maybe connect with some of the other hikers that are out there and some of the vloggers that I'll be following myself. Fall is in full effect here in Pennsylvania. One of my favorite smells of the forest is decomposing leaves. I just find that refreshing for some reason. Heading into the area right now of Deer Lake Shelters. This is the very first shelter that you will come into 
when you enter Pennsylvania from the south. I do see there's someone up here. I'm going to put the camera away here, say hello, and hopefully I can give you guys a quick tour. Talk about some gear. Quick look around Deer Lake shelters, and one of the shelters is occupied. And talk with one of the hikers there. Pretty nice guy. And I'm going to get ready to go ahead and head back out the trail. Find a, try to find a quick spot here so I can share my new equipment purchases. All right, everyone, shelter area is occupied by a really cool section hiker by the name of Mason. Uh, he's come on board and subscribed to my channel, and he is meeting another hiker here tomorrow, and he's going to be headed south to the Great Smoky Mountains. That's his goal by the end of the year. So, Mason, great to have you on board, and best of luck to you. I have upgraded uh, my sleep pad. Now, this isn't intended to be any reviews. I'll cover that in some of my future videos. Just wanted to, real quick and dirty, let you know some of the equipment purchases I've made here over the past couple of weeks. This is a Nemo Tensor Pad. It's a 20S mummy style pad. It is an insulated pad. It does not have an R rating. Nemo does not rate their pads as far as an R rating. Um, this is rated to be 30 to 40 degrees. So this is a torso only pad. I'm going to put a picture up on the screen here real quick. And it's basically going to support me from my head and shoulders down to about my knees. And shockingly, this is very comfortable. Spent a couple of nights on that up at the Alder Gathering and I love this pad. I was actually able to get a great night of sleep. So it looks like that thing is going to be staying. Next item, picked up a spot device, a GPS tracking device. Um, spot was there at the Alder Gathering. They had a great special. They were giving away free equipment if you signed a one-year contract with them. This particular spot will allow me to enter three predetermined text messages that I can put through the GPS satellites, which will be converted to text and also email. And the reason I picked this up is, is to give a little insurance, assurance to my sweetheart while I'm out on the trail. And also, just like today, I spend a lot of time out on the trail by myself in areas sometimes that does not have cell phone coverage or it'll go from 4G to 3G and it seems to be impossible to get a text message or a phone call out. So I picked up the spot device. This is some cheap insurance if I get in a bad spot along the AT where I have no coverage and I'll cover that in a future video. Next piece of equipment that I picked up is I've upgraded my battery bank to the brand new power delivery technology. I've actually gone with a larger bank than what I've had in the past. Done it under the recommendation of Frozen. Frozen, thank you so much. He was talking about being out on his AT through hike vlogging, and he was only able to be able to sustain himself for about four days worth of battery, and he had to come in town and get charged up. He said if he had to do it again, he would upgrade to a 26,800 milliamp hour uh, battery bank. I've got ahead of the game on this. I went ahead and picked this up. This is the pound, and this will charge in five and a half hours, which any of the, the older style battery banks will take double, sometimes triple that time. So I will share more about this when I get into my vlogging gear before I actually hit the AT. The final piece of gear that I've picked up here over the past couple of weeks is an anchor charging block. This actually has a retractable um, plugs on the end so it's not poking through my pack or any of my dry bags or anything like that. You can plug it in. It has the power delivery um, outlet on it which is USB-C and it also has a standard USB output and that has the the IQ charging capabilities. This thing has some size to it and some weight and I may consider going with a smaller charging plug in the future that would simply have the power delivery option with the with the USB-C technology on it. This has a little bit of weight to it and I think I could uh, and also bulk as well so I think I could probably do a little bit better than this but I always like the idea of having the extra USB port for charging some additional items. My final equipment purchase, it's taken me probably two years to make a final decision on a tent. I currently have a Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL1. Boy, isn't that a mouthful. Uh, one person tent. The tent has served me well. I've had some problems with the zipper, especially when it's raining. Tried to pitch it several different ways with the vestibule door and everything like that. And that tent has been felt like pretty much a coffin for me. I think I could get by. I think it would work for me. However, if I'm pinned down in some bad weather and I decide to take a zero on the trail, I'm going to need a little bit more room. So I bit the bullet, bought another tent. It's supposed to arrive tomorrow. Does anyone have any guesses what it may be? Leave it in the comments below, and I'll share that with you in the future when I do my big three video. So that should bring everybody up to date with my equipment evolution. I will call it that because I think anybody who's spent any time in the great outdoors, they have the, the evolution of gear. And as you learn more about it, and you spend more time out there, and you can go lighter, you go smarter, you realize the equipment that works or doesn't work for you. Uh, you experience the evolution but i am getting there so i do have some videos coming up in the future where i'm going to get into the final details of what i'm actually going to be taking on the at with me next year i'm looking forward to getting some more trail therapy 
Unfortunately, I've been very busy with my work and I work a lot of weekends. And I'm looking forward to getting out and spending a couple days out on a trail. I'm not sure where I'm headed yet. I've got a couple things in mind and I'll share that in some upcoming videos. Questions. Hey, if anybody has any questions about me or my plans to hike the AT next year, anything from any questions about me personally, music, what my hobbies are, um, plans for the hike itself, gear, please put them in, the, in uh, the comments below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. So uh, again, I'm doing these hike updates to open up the, the rapport and the communication with everyone who's come on board. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to walk with me to Katahdin. So please hit that subscribe button below and join me. And again, I'm just absolutely grateful for everyone who has come on board to show me the support that you have. So it's going to wrap it up for today's video. And we'll share some more here in the future. Check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for watching Wild on the Trail. And have a great day, everybody. Take care.